Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is John Hammond. Welcome back to another Python challenge video. Um, I'm looking at challenge 17 now, and we are presented with this image of cookies. Um, I can only assume this challenge has to do with cookies and uh, web browsing cookies, stuff like that. So let's start to poke at it. Um, I'm just going to assume that there. It's probably this page has probably set a cookie for us. Um, although I see this picture of uh, another challenge we had before that was that was a uh, uh, level four I think and I honestly don't remember which one that was <laughs> I'm just gonna look for totally Python challenge you guys don't look at my YouTube ch don't look at my YouTube page all right <laughs> uh, what was it oh follow the chain zero four zero four yeah okay it was this one um, and that link is PC def linkless. Okay, I'm going to keep that open just in case we need it. But first I want to poke at this page to see if this is the one that actually sets the cookie for us. So I'm going to create a new file. I'll put it in a new folder for level 17 of Python challenge. And I'll just call this solve.py. You can name it whatever you want. And I will add my shebang line as usual. And I'm going to use requests to play with this web page. So I'll steal that URL, paste it there, and response can be request.get URL, and I can print that response just to see if we get anything. Response with an S, and 401. What is that? Oh, we're not authorized. I didn't. I didn't actually authorize. My bad. Um, I remember it later on in the challenges. You do have to supply like. I think it was huge. After after the inflate this B challenge, you have to supply huge end file to be able to access this stuff. Auth equals auth. I'll just pass in that tuple there. Now we should... Okay, we do get a response. It is response 200. Cool, so we get a response. So we have our whole page. Since we can read that response, let's see if there are any cookies there. And there are nothing. So let's try that uh, level 4 one, the linked list.php. Let's try that. Was it PC def? PC def, yep. Def linked list.php. And we don't need to authorize for that one, so I won't. I'll just actually just remove that line. Because that was before the inflate this B challenge, just to see what this is. Response.txt. Okay, we do get the page. Are there any cookies on that page? Whoa! Yes, there are. Cookie info. That looks like the key. Info, you should have followed busy nothing. What does that mean? When we go to this page, I remember the challenge. Your URL of my help. Don't try all nothing. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, you would click on this, and it would take you to the same page with a get variable, HTTP variable pass through nothing equals one, two, three, four, five. And then you would just follow the chain. I remember that. So we should have followed it. said busy nothing. I wonder if busy nothing should equal that same one, two, three, four, five. Yep. B. Okay. Oh, whoa, wait, wait. Whoa. B? What? What the heck is. It? Info B. Info equals B. We're on the right page, right? If you came here from level four, go back. Okay, that makes sense because nothing should have been level should, level four should have been nothing, and this level level seventeen should be busy nothing. I guess you should follow the obvious chain. The next busy nothing is four four eight two seven. Okay, but we had B with that. What does that mean? Uh, let's try and do this multiple times. For i in range, let's just do it three times to see how far we can follow the chain. I'm just going to set this as a placeholder, busy nothing, so I can replace out of it. URL equals URL dot replace busy nothing with uh, our next nothing. So before we start looping, let's have our next nothing equal this and we were able to get a nothing out of it, right? Next nothing. Well, hang on. Before we all 
before we do all of this. URL equals... Oh, I have to remove all this indentation. Next busy nothing is that thing. Is that right? So yeah, we just have to split. It was at the very, it was at the very end, right? So let's split, and then let's get the last one. Let's just set that to next nothing because that's what we're using to loop through it. And let's just say info equals that responses cookies with info, and let's try and loop through this now. Should be good. Oh, 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 yeah, let's actually print that stuff out. Print next nothing, next nothing, just to see what these variables are. And let's replace next nothing in that text with info. I added an I in there. Next nothing, info B, blah, blah, blah. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, this should all be in our for loop. That's nothing B. Oh, sweet! We're getting data. We're getting data. Let's do that ten times. Ooh! Oh, we're totally getting data. Let's do this forever. <laughs> See how much we can get. Let's go. Oh, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna let this run, and I'll let you know once it ends. I'll pause this now. Okay, I would think we'd be getting towards the end here. Oh yeah, cool. It finished. Um. And the last, next nothing is it. <laughs> so that must be the end of it. Let's see what that last one was. Um, let's try. Busy nothing equals that. I said that's it. Okay, okay. But it does get one last value there. So let's put all these into a thing. Let's say data equals an empty list. And then let's do data.append the info, and I know this This obviously just gave us an error, so once we get that error, we should know that we have finished, so let's just put this in a try and accept thing, break once we're done, and then we can print out data dot, no, 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 we want to join this because it's an array now, ooh, info, cool, no, data, data, data is the list that we're working with. I, I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to think. <laughs> All right, so now when we run this, uh, let's just keep it printing so we know what stuff is going on. Okay, so now it's doing all this stuff for us, and once this is done, we should have all of the data put together. I'll pause this again and get back to you once it's done. Should be finishing up here real soon. With all these uh, percent signs, I'm, I'm, I'm sure these are like URL encoded data. Okay, yeah, sweet. So now we have our full data. Let's just call this data suite. And since we have all that to work with now, we've accomplished, we've gotten all the stuff that we need. Let's just comment out all this stuff because I don't think we'll need any more. Now we just have this string, <laughs> whatever this is. Uh, this looks to me, with, with see this BZ here, this looks admittedly like BZIP data because that BZ like file header, that magic number, you know, the begins of the this this looks like compressed BZ data. But it has all these URL encoded stuff in it, so let's actually get rid of those. I can do this with URL lib, URL lib. And since this all came from a web source, right? There might be a percent sign twenty or like a plus sign in there. Like uh oh yeah, yeah, I see one right there. I see a plus sign. They're gonna URL lib is gonna do that, or like uh request is gonna do that when it sees like it's like joining characters. So Let's do URL uh, dot unquote underscore plus. Unquote will get rid of all of those percent encoded uh, variables, like values for us, and plus will remove that plus sign that's being weird, and it'll properly encode that too. Uh, data equals URL to unquote plus data. Now we can print out that data. Oh, and obviously since it's all actual data now, yeah, like with encoded stuff, we are not going to be able to read all of it unless we take up the string representation of it. So that's it, right? Now <laughs> we have BZ data. Let's actually uncompress it. Let's import BZ2. Uh, 
Uh, if you don't know the syntax for this stuff, you should be able to find it. I'm just calling mine decompressor. And BZ2, yeah, you can just look at the de uh, documentation for this online. BZ2 decompressor, it needs to create an object for itself. And then uh, decompressor dot decompress. And we can pass in that data string that we're working with now. And let's just say data. Again, hopefully, hopefully it's equal to that. So let's data, let's data that. Hopefully, oh, cool. Is it the 26th already? What? Call his father and inform him that the flowers are on their way. He'll understand. What does that mean? <gasps> Is it the 26th already? Call his father. Oh, 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 the 26th. That's a uh, reference to the older challenge of the calendar thing, right? Um, 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 I had something on that, didn't I? I had a video on that one. Who is this evil? Oh, no, 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 the calendar. Whom? Whom? Uh, at the very end. Back up. Mozart, right? Yeah, 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 that was Mozart. That was the last one. Called his father. Mozart. Called Mozart's father. Who is Mozart's father? <laughs> Mozart's father. Google. Leopold Mozart. Okay. He's dead, obviously. <laughs> I can't really call him. <laughs> Call his father. Call Leopold Mozart and tell him the flowers are on their way. What? Oh! Call... Shit! That was another That was another challenge. That was, uh... Who is this evil? That was when we were looking at the phone stuff, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the phone one. Oh, they must have his number... They must have his number in the phone book. Oh, what was that? What was the syntax for that? XML RPC lib. The server name was that, and then it just called. You could, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could phone other people and get a phone number for them, right? Let's try and do that. Idle, import XML RPC lib. Cool. Um, server was what was it in the video? PythonChallenge.com/pc/phonebook.php. It had to have. Uh, Python challenge. Dot. Wait, wait, wait. What was the syntax for it? Server name. Client equals XML lib server proxy. Server proxy. Okay. Server proxy. With that server name. So. Oh. Oh. What? What? Oh. Oh. It needs to have HTTP. Duh. Actually, know that it's doing the thing. Do the thing on the internet. Okay, cool. So now we have client. And you used phone to phone people. Leopold Mozart? Leopold Mozart. He is not... Damn it. Is it just his first name? I remember in this one, it was Bert. It was like... Yeah, yeah, it was Bert that got us the actual... Uh, got us his actual name. So let's just use Leopold. Oh, 555 five, five, violin. Shit, is that it? Is that it? I'm going to do it. Oh, whoa. I moved this to the wrong monitor. I've got two monitors going on right now. It's pretty nice. I remember... Violin? Oh, no. I mean, yes. What? But stuff violin. Peach. Okay. So parent directory up. Stuff. Violin.php. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Mr. Leopold Mozart. Hello there. Um, what do you have to say to me? You have nothing in your source code. The title is It's Me. What do you want? Damn it. <laughs> um, is it the 26th already? Call his father and inform him that the flowers are on their way. He'll understand. How do I do that? I mean, he is a web page right now. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I can just send him that stuff. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I have to send him it as a cookie, just like everything else is or has been in this freaking in this freaking challenge. Everything has been cookies that we just put out. So yeah, uh, let's create a header info, because that was everything else was, a dictionary for our cookies, and let's say, 
uh, what was it? The flowers are on the way. Okay. They're fl the flowers are on their way. So now, so we don't need any of this stuff now, but we can use, what is that URL? Take hit URL now equals HTTP request, let's just do a response. Requests, oh, I should bring this up for you. Get URL. Let's actually print that out. See what we get, if anything. 200, what does that say? Okay, cool. So we have the we have the web page. We see Leopold there. It's me. What do you want? <laughs> well, I want to tell you the flowers are on their way. Let's pass in that cookies uh, uh dictionary that we have here. Cookies equals cookies. Go. Oh, well, don't you dare to forget the balloons. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> don't you dare to forget the balloons. Is that it? Is it just? Is it just balloons? I'm gonna try that. Balloons. What? Balloon. Balloon. Balloons. Damn it. Uh, wait, wait, wait. The stuff is different, right? Because we were on when we were on level 17. It was return. What was it? Level 17's URL was pay. See, no, that's level four. Damn it. Well, it was a uh, def return, right? You see, return uh, romance.html? Yeah, okay, cool, cool. That was level 17. It's got to be balloons. Woo! <laughs> we found it. We got it. We win. Woo! Level 18, everybody. <laughs> Damn. That was really cool. That was super cool. I was referencing a bunch of different levels, and looping through cookie data and sending our own cookie data, decompressing BZ2 junk. Oh, that was awesome. Cool. Oh, wow. Sweet. Finally level 18, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you're enjoying the Python Challenge video series and all the stuff that we've been doing here. Yeah. Oh, man. And my heart's like, my heart feels good right now. <laughs> my heart stopped for a little bit and now I just feel like a good feels. Thanks again, guys. Hope you're enjoying this. Uh, if you are, maybe please uh, please like, maybe please leave me a comment. Uh, ask me what else you want to see. And uh, if you're feeling generous, maybe subscribe. You'd know I love that. Thanks, guys. See you in the next tutorial.